To be honest, there's a good chance your pet has experienced this issue at some point in time, maybe even right now. Don't worry though, it's pretty easy to spot and most of the time, it's a simple situation to relieve. All you have to do is keep your eyes peeled for an odd warning sign. It's something I call the scoot. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You're at home relaxing with your dog when all of a sudden you watch them scoot their butt across the floor. They might even do this outside in the grass too. You may have thought they were just scratching an itch and sometimes that might be the case. But there could be a few reasons why your dog is exhibiting this behavior. Reason number one could be that your dog's anal glands are full and it's causing them some discomfort. Now, you're probably wondering, Dr. Richter, what are anal glands? Well, they're tiny sacs that sit inside the rectum of dogs and many other animals for that matter. These glands secrete an oily and as you can imagine, smelly substance that they use as a territorial marker. Here's what's supposed to happen. When your dog goes outside to do their business, these glands empty out. The only problem is sometimes that doesn't happen, or at least not all the way. After a while, this can become an itchy or uncomfortable nuisance for your dogs, and they scoot themselves across the floor to try and relieve that feeling. Don't worry. Luckily, it's very easy to fix this nagging issue. And yes, you can solve this problem at home by applying some pressure to the area and expressing their anal glands for them, although I don't normally recommend it for obvious reasons but your vet can quickly and easily help your pup. Another reason why your dog might scoot is that they have parasites. If you suspect your dog could have parasites, it's best to contact your vet right away to get a checkup for your dog and get their exact recommendations. One last reason why your dog might be scooting could be due to allergies. This could be a reaction from something in their environment or even their food. Again, it's best to call your veterinarian if you suspect allergies to be the reason for your dog's behavior and let your veterinarian know if your dog has had any recent changes in scenery, routine, or diet. This can help them diagnose the problem. So the next time you see your dog scoot, make an appointment with your vet. Trust me, your dog will feel much better afterwards. 